What's up dudes and tune into the internet, my name is Seth and today I'm going to be showing you how you actually get your hands on the Griff 3000 mount. This is going to be a Griffin type of mount, it's going to ha uh, have the same type of skeleton of it, and it's also going to end up being a gliding mount. And look at those video effects, aren't they beautiful? I don't know why his wings flap when he's a jet, but anyways, how y'all doing today folks? Hope you're doing fantastic and wonderful. To get this out or mount, it's actually going to be very, very time consuming while being very simple. Out in the world there's going to be, they call them the flame. Flametron Mark II. Uh, uh, it's going to be a random boss mob that you can see out in the world. Uh, you're going to notice him right away because he has a big flame shield around him and kind of looks like a pyromancer type of dude, right? Uh, you can end up finding him out in the world randomly, just like a normal boss mob. Or in permafrost biomes, you can end up finding a big, beautiful uh, shadow-themed rocket ship, and that's always going to end up generating with the boss. Now, defeating the boss is a whole other uh, like story into itself because this is actually one of the strongest enemies in the entire game. I I might even argue that it's stronger than some Ultra Tower bosses. Like seriously, because of the amount of group that's actually required uh, to actually fight this thing because not only is, does it have an insane stats, it's invincible unless you end up throwing enchanted snowballs at it. Now, where you get enchanted snowballs is you gotta come to the Snowfest table right here and craft enchanted snowballs out of Sub-Zero Snowflakes. Where do you get Sub-Zero Snowflakes? From the gigantic tree dungeons that you find out in Uber Worlds as well as the new present dungeons are going to end up dropping the Sub-Zero Snowflakes as well. These snowballs are gonna show up in your crafting menu, not your normal inventory, so don't panic if you don't see them. Uh, but anyway, you're gonna have to craft as many of these as possible because one person's gonna have to pelt the boss with the snowflakes while somebody else ends up actually doing the damage and even trying to do it with just two people is gonna be very very hard pressed because this guy has some big mitts that really really hurt you know <laughs> like seriously uh and his shield ends up regenerating like really really fast but once you end up defeating him you're gonna end up getting a dark nick gear and i, I want to also make this perfectly clear that this boss operates the same as any of the other enemies in trove where only eight people that are around the proximity are going to actually end up getting any of the drops so if you have a ninth person that means somebody in the group isn't gonna end up getting a drop for myself personally i find it to be more profitable to just have as big a group as possible but if you feel so inclined to just stick with a very specific group of eight well go for that uh but you're gonna need 300 of them and even when you're in u9 you're going to end up getting four of the uh dark net gears and with that you're gonna need to defeat 75 of them in u9 as opposed to u6 and uh under if you end up going to there you're gonna end up getting one per which means essentially you're gonna have to defeat 300 of them. Like it's insane, but it, it, it can be done. You know, I ended up grinding this out in a day thanks to uh, the fine, beautiful fans out there. Uh, but then otherwise it's gonna be robotic salvage and then the meteorite fragment. I have a video talking about the meteorite fragment, but you just go into the Jurassic biome, search for the one that generates with the tree canopy over top, and you're gonna find the meteor fragments up on the top of those trees, right? So that's pretty much all there is to it. The other option, of course, is the pay to win method where you can end up uh, buying 150 gears for five dollars but again you're going to need 300 so you're going to have to essentially spend ten dollars if you want to get this mount that otherwise if you're grinding hardcore can take a day or two so uh, you know it kind of depends how you value your time you know is it gonna be worth ten dollars to you or not but either way that's the mount it's beautiful thank you so much for watching very much appreciate it don't forget to like share favorite and subscribe for more daily content side so note stay epic everybody